<laughs> you have a new album out. Uh, it's called Just Causes, and it's a collection of your tunes with proceeds going to charity. And I think this is a unique concept that I, I love the mindset behind. Tell us about it. Uh, okay. I, I got to admit, it's a, I'm a little embarrassed, but I, I was standing in the frozen food section of the Trade Winds store in Blue Hill, Maine, and I noticed for the umpteenth time, but it really registered, that Paul Newman is giving 100% of his profits to charity. And I thought, well, okay, what are profits? I get it. Anything beyond the actual manufacturing, promotion, and distribution of the records is a profit. And I don't, you know, I've been in the business for almost 60 years. Well, probably, yeah, for 60 years. So it's time I started giving back. But I'm a Johnny come lately to the folk ethic. I mean, honestly, I have to confess, I was a rhythm and blues kid out of the Midwest. So when I moved to Greenwich Village and learned about Woody Guthrie and Pete Seeger and Josh White, Cisco Houston, I was, uh, I was really moved but it took me a long time to get up to speed in terms of producing songs of social conscience myself. But in about 1970, after the spiritual conversion that I went through, I began to see the world through a different lens. And so some of the songs on the Just Causes album go back clear to 1970. Some of them are just three years ago when I attended a environmental uh, group meeting uh, in, in Deer Isle. So it's a nice widespread and each one of the tunes goes to the cause that thematically is expressed in the song. I, I just, you know, I, it knocks me out. And also the double entendre of the, of the title, you know, because it's the only tracks on the album are just causes <laughs> and the causes are righteous. So they're just causes as well.